Good morning. Hi, it is Miss Sarah here from Gail Borden Public Library. And thank you for joining me this morning for your library at home. I'm so glad that even though it is cold and snowy outside, we can still have some fun today with story time. Welcome to toddler time. It is our story time designed especially for one and two year olds. Uh, but it doesn't matter what age you are, you are more than welcome to join us this morning for some stories, songs, and rhymes. Now we are going to be using our story time kits. So our story time kits have a scarf and a shaker in them. So if you have your story time kit, go ahead and grab it right now so you're ready to use those. And if you don't have a story time kit, that is just fine. You can grab whatever you have at home that maybe sounds like a shaker or acts like a scarf. And then when you have some time, you can come on down to the Gail Borden's Library Main, Main Library, and ask for a story time kit. You can go through either the drive through or you can come on in to Kids Space and ask for a story time kit. And we would be more than happy to give you one with a scarf and a shaker in them. All right, and it looks like we have lots of friends joining us this morning, so we need to say good morning. Oh my, here we go, let's look back. Good morning, Clementine. Thank you for joining us, and good morning, Amara. Yes, oh, and Amaya is here for story time. Welcome, and Audrey, and Landon, and Isla, hi, welcome. Let's see, and who else? And Abraham, good morning, Abraham, and Rosie, good morning. Oh, I hope I got everybody so far. Good morning. So parents, if you're just joining us, if you want to go ahead and put your child's name in the comment section, I would love to say good morning and hello to all my story time friends. It's so exciting to see who is joining us for story time, even from your homes. Oh, good morning, Jacob. Thank you for joining us for story time. And Avery, good morning. Wow, we are gonna have a fun morning. But boys and girls, I was a little concerned. It's cold outside, right? It's cold outside and it's kind of snowy. I don't know if we're gonna have any special animal friends join us. What do you think? Have you seen anybody? Oh, Molly's here. Good morning, Molly. Have you seen anybody looking around? I didn't, I didn't see any uh, animal friends that were gonna join us. No, no, I don't see anybody coming this way. No, no, Maybe anybody coming this way? Did you see somebody? Who did you see? Oh, what? You saw a penguin? Oh, Mr. Penguin! You silly penguin. I didn't see you sneaking up. This is perfect. Penguins don't mind the snow and the cold. And the cold. Most of them actually like it. Yes. Oh, Mr. Penguin. Did we say good morning to Mr. Penguin? Good morning, Mr. Penguin. Oh, yeah, Mr. Penguin. The boys and girls are joining us for story time. They're right there on the other side of the screen. You see them? Yeah, there they are. I know it's hard to see, but you say good morning, and they'll say good morning to you too. Good job. Well, I'm so excited that you came. Why don't we do a penguin story time? We could read some books and sing some songs and maybe do some rhymes about penguins. What do you think? Yay, that sounds good. All right, Mr. Penguin, why don't you waddle on over there and we'll get started. Can you waddle like a penguin? 
That's fun. You should try to get up and do that. Maybe we'll do a song a little bit later where we can act like penguins. Okay? All right, here we go. Did we even say hello? We had so many friends, I forgot to do, sing our hello song. Why don't we start there, okay? We're gonna start by clapping and singing hello. Ready? Here we go. We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. With our friends, it's story time. We clap and sing hello. Good job. How else can you say hello? Yay, we can wave. We wave and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. With our friends, it's story time. We wave and sing hello. Hello, all you friends out there. I'm so glad you're joining me for story time this morning. And if you didn't see, Mr. Penguin is here too. Hi, Anaya, good morning. We are going to do some stories, songs, and rhymes all about penguins. Good morning, Leilani. Thank you for joining us. Now, I have a question for you. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, clap your hands. Are you ready for a story? Yay! I heard some clapping. All right, our first story this morning is called Fluff and Billy, and it's by Nicola Killen with a special thank you to Sterling Children's Book. There they are, Fluff and Billy. Fluff and Billy. I'm climbing up, said Fluff. I'm climbing up, said Billy. Oh, look what they're doing. I'm sliding down, said Fluff. I'm sliding down, said Billy slide down on their bellies. They don't need sleds. Ah! Screamed Fluff. Ah! Screamed Billy. You could try that at home, but maybe not too loud. I'm swimming, said Fluff. I'm swimming, said Billy. Right? Penguins like to swim. I'm splashing, said Fluff. I'm splashing, said Billy. I'm running over here, said Fluff. And I'm running over here, said Billy. You want to see a penguin run? They kind of waddle, don't they? I'm jumping up, said Fluff. I'm jumping up, said Billy. Oh, that's a big jump, isn't it? All I can see are his webbed feet. Bonk. Oh no, did he jump too high? Here, let's see, what are they gonna do next? I'm rolling a snowball, said Fluff. I'm throwing a snowball, said Billy. Uh-oh, what do you think's gonna happen? cried Fluff. He got hit by the snowball. That hurts sometimes, doesn't it? I'm not talking to you, said Fluff. I'm not talking to you, said Billy. Uh-oh, they're mad at each other. Fluff said nothing. Billy said nothing. Oh no, you see, there's one little tear dropping from Billy's eye. I think he's sad. And look, Fluff sees that he's sad. What is he gonna do? I'm tickling your tummy, said Fluff. I'm tickling your tummy, laughed Billy. Look at 
them. They're all laughing. Laugh Fluff and Billy together. They had more fun when they got to play together, didn't they? Do you remember some of the things that they did? They slid in the snow, right? And they made snowballs and they didn't fly. No, penguins can't fly. But they did go swimming, right? Because penguins like to swim in the water. So let's sing a song about penguins swimming in the water. And we're gonna pretend that our hands are penguins swimming in the water, okay? And then at the end, it's gonna go bubble, 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 pop, and we'll clap, okay? Let's see, how many penguins are swimming in the water? One, here we go. One little penguin swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. One little penguin swimming in the water, bubble, 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 pop. Good job. Now along came his friend, and we had one, two penguins. Two little penguins swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Two little penguins swimming in the water, bubble, 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 pop. Good job. It was so much fun that another penguin joined in. One, two, three little penguins. Three little penguins swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Three little penguins swimming in the water, bubble, 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 pop. Good job. That's so much fun. Do we have another penguin? One, two, three, four. Four little penguins swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Four little penguins swimming in the water, bubble, 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 pop. <laughs> Good job. And one last penguin wanted to go swimming too. One, two, three, four, five. Can you put all your fingers out? Five penguins. Here we go. Let's go swimming in the water. Five little penguins swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Five little penguins swimming in the water. Bubble, 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 pop. Yeah, that's what happens to bubbles, right? They go pop. Good job. You do a very good job being penguins swimming in the water. All right, our next story is called I'll Wait, Mr. Panda by Steve Anthony. And it's I'll Wait, Mr. Panda, but in this story, there's a very patient penguin. And being patient is hard. That's a good word to learn, being patient, okay? A special thank you to Houghton Mifflin Harcourt for letting me read this book to you this morning. I'll wait, Mr. Panda. What are you making, Mr. Panda? Wait and see, it's a surprise. No, I will not wait. Goodbye. You say goodbye to the alpaca? He doesn't wanna wait. I'll wait, Mr. Panda. Are you making cookies, Mr. Panda? Wait and see. It's a surprise. Hmm, I wonder what he is making. No, waiting is too hard. Goodbye. Say goodbye to the anteater. Goodbye, anteater. I'll wait, Mr. Panda. 
see the penguin? He says, I'll wait. Oh, look, even the ants, the ants don't want to wait either. There they go. Oh, there's the bunnies. Are you making cupcakes, Mr. Panda? Wait and see. It's a surprise. Do you think they'll wait? No, I'm done waiting. Oh, say goodbye to the bunny. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. I'll wait, Mr. Panda. Is it ready yet, Mr. Panda? No, wait here. I don't like waiting. Goodbye. There goes the bird. I'll wait, Mr. Panda. The very patient penguin. I'm waiting, Mr. Panda. Hmm, what do you think Mr. Panda is making? Not cookies, not cupcakes. Surprise! Whoa! That is the biggest donut I've ever seen. Look at that, boys and girls. Wow! That was worth the wait. Thank you, Mr. Panda. Oh, look at her. Look at the patient penguin. Look, that donut is so much bigger than him. He says, I can't wait to eat it. And there he goes, rolling the giant donut away. It's hard to wait sometimes, isn't it? It is. And sometimes it's hard to stop doing something that you're enjoying. So why don't we go ahead and sing a song that's gonna help us practice stopping, okay? This is Wiggle and Wiggle and Stop because it's a good thing to practice. Sometimes we're doing something we really like doing, but maybe mom or dad says it's time to stop and go to the store or eat dinner and we have to learn to stop sometimes, okay? So here we go, we're gonna wiggle. You can wiggle your hands. If you're at home, you've got some space, you can wiggle your whole body, okay? But we're gonna remember when we say stop, we try to stop our bodies, okay? Here we go. We wiggle and wiggle and stop. We wiggle and wiggle and stop. We wiggle and wiggle and wiggle and wiggle and wiggle and wiggle and stop. Did you stop? Should we try it again? This time, why don't we, let's clap, okay? We'll clap and we clap and we'll stop. Okay, here we go. If you know the song, sing with me, okay? Nice and loud so I can hear you. Ready? We clap and we clap and we stop. We clap and we clap and we stop. We clap and 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 we stop. Oh, good job. Oh, you know what? Do you have your story time, kids? Can you take out your shakers? This is a whole lot of fun to shake. But sometimes when it's time to stop, it's hard, okay? Should we practice? Let's practice stopping. Here we go. We shake and we shake and we stop. We shake and we shake and we stop. We shake and 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 we stop. Good job, boys and girls. Give it one last little shake because it's fun. I'm going to take my scarf out of my story time kit. Do you have your scarf? Yeah? Here we go. Here. Should we wave it? Wave your scarf. And then we're gonna stop. Okay. We wave and we wave and we stop. We wave and we wave and we stop. We wave and 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 we stop. Oh, that's so hard, but you did a good job. 
I'm gonna put my scarf right over here because we're gonna use it again in just a minute. But you're welcome to keep yours out if you would like to during this next song, or song, next book called Bob and Flo Play Hide and Seek. And it's by Rebecca Ashdown with a special thank you to Houghton Mifflin Harcourt. It was a rainy day. Bob came to preschool with his umbrella. Here's Bob, he's under his umbrella. Hello, said Bob. Oh, hello, said Flo and Sam. We didn't see you hiding under there. Bob and Flo and Sam decided to play hide and seek. I'll hide first, said Bob. Counting to 20 is hard. So Flo and Sam counted to 10, twice. Can you count to 10? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That can be kind of tricky, right? Bob found a good place to hide. Oh, where is Bob hiding? He's hiding behind his flippers. But Flo and Sam found him right away. You have to hide behind something, said Sam. So Bob tried again. Oh, can you see Bob? He's hiding behind something. But you can see his belly and his flippers and his webbed feet. But he was still too easy to find. You have to disappear, said Flo. One more try, said Bob. Maybe Bob needs more time to hide, said Sam. So as they waited, Flo and Sam played in the kitchen corner. Oh, look, Sam's going mix, mix, mix. I wonder what they're going to bake while Bob thought very hard. Oh, look right there. There's some blocks. Thought very hard about how to disappear. Here's some more blocks. Ready or not, here we come, said Flo and Sam. But where is Bob? Do you see Bob? Do you see him? He's got a good hiding spot this time. Nowhere. Do you see Bob? Did he build something? He built something to hide behind. And it kind of looks like a penguin, doesn't it? Ta-da! Here I am. You disappeared. Bob, said Flo and Sam, wonderful hiding. You did a good job hiding that time, right? And Bob thought Flo and Sam's cake was wonderful too. There they, they made a cake out of blocks. Now it's fun to play hide and seek, but it's hard to find a good place to hide sometimes where people can't see you. Would a scarf be good to hide behind? No, maybe not the best place to hide, but it is good for playing peekaboo. Do you have your scarf? Do you want to peekaboo? Peekaboo? Should we sing our song? Ready? Peekaboo, peekaboo, I see you. I see you, I see your button nose and your tiny toe. Peek-a-boo, I see you. Peek-a-boo, peek-a-boo, I see you, I see you. I see your button nose and your tiny toes. I see you. peek 
Go, boo. Good job. Now I'm going to take my scarf and I'm going to bounce it. Can you try that? You go bounce, bounce, bounce. Can you do that? This is the way I bounce my scarf, bounce my scarf, bounce my scarf. This is the way I bounce my scarf so early in the morning. Good job. Oh, here we go. Can we try waving our scarves again? Maybe at home you've got lots of space to do big waves. This is the way I wave my scarf, wave my scarf, wave my scarf. This is the way I wave my scarf so early in the morning. All right, do you know what's really fun? Can you take your scarf and throw it up high and watch it float down? Let it go up high, whoa! This is the way I throw my scarf, throw my scarf, throw my scarf. This is the way I throw my scarf so early in the morning. Yay, that was so fun. You can hold on to your scarf if you would like. But we're going to do one more song, and it happens to be the penguin pokey. But have you seen Mr. Penguin around? I want him to join us so he can show us the penguin pokey. Have you seen him? Yeah, should we call him? Okay, ready? Can you help me out? Ready? One, two, three. Mr. Penguin! Oh, did you see him? No? Okay, well, maybe he went this way. Should we try that? Okay. One, two, three. Mr. Penguin! Oh, you silly Mr. Penguin, there you are! We're gonna do the penguin pokey. And I thought who better to teach the boys and girls than Mr. Penguin, right? Yeah, you're a very good dancer. Okay, here we go, ready? All right, the penguin pokey. All right, you ready? Got enough space to dance? Okay, here we go. You put your flipper in, you put your flipper out. Wait, hold on, Mr. Penguin. What about the boys and girls at home? They don't have flippers. What should they do? Oh, okay. Ready? You can put your arms in. Pretend like your arms are flippers, okay? Pretend your arms are flippers and we can do the penguin pokey together. Here we go. You put your flipper in, you put your flipper out, you put your flipper in and you shake it all about. You do the penguin pokey and you waddle all around. That's what it's all about. Yay! Here we go. You put your flipper in, you put your flipper out, you put your flipper in and you shake it all about. You do the penguin pokey and you waddle all around. That's what it's all about. Yay! Good job. Even though you don't have flippers, you did a very nice job. Did you waddle like a penguin too? Do, 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 do. Waddle like a penguin? Now, before we say goodbye to all our story time friends and Mr. Penguin, I want to remind you of some of the fun virtual events we have coming up this week. Make sure to come back tomorrow, Thursday, at 10 a.m. right here on Facebook for Adventure Storytime with Miss Stephanie. And then come back on Friday again right here on Facebook at 10 for a stomp, clap, and read for a fun story time with Miss Cindy that is sure to get you moving. And maybe waddling. I don't know. No, she, there, she's got a different bird, right? Yes. She's got the ostrich that dances. So make sure you check that out on Friday. So go ahead and click on the description below, the link in the description below to check out those and all the other great virtual programs we have for you for your library at home. Thank you, Mr. Penguin. And before we go, we do need to sing the goodbye song, right? Yes, let's sing the goodbye song. Now, Mr. Penguin, you can wave your flipper, but the boys and girls and I, we're gonna wave our hands. Here we go. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye to all our friends. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. 
We wave goodbye to all our friends. We wave goodbye like this. Goodbye, boys and girls. And goodbye, Mr. Penguin. Bye.